Hi hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the second lecture on reinforcement in tickler structures. So let's get started. Another option actually is related to the part group as a creation. You can exclude a first bar or last or both together. So if I try a first bar, so the first bar of my bar of my bar group excluded. If you remember in the previous video, I created the shape like this and I started the, the range from here to here. So this is the start and this is the end. Okay, so the first bar is here and the last bar and uh, the last bar will be here. Okay, so if I exclude both, the first and last will be excluded just like this. Okay, this is very useful when you use bar group for reinforcing a concrete column. Okay. Let me show you something about it. Okay, uh, we here we have a concrete column. Go to rebar and bar group. Let's say it is standard and uh, this it is twenty and no hook and forty forty and zero zero. Okay, so let's change. Uh, it is by equally distributed. The equality distribution by number of reinforcement. Let's say it's three and select the column, draw the shape from here to here, and pick two points to indicate the range from here to here. Okay, you see that? But it's out of my, uh, it's related to the, to the from plane, I think. Oh, sorry, no. This one plane. So, I created this bar group, the range from here to here, so it's the start, it is the end, and three bars equally distributed with the 40, 40 millimeters from on plane and from out, uh, from, from plane and on plane, okay? So, if I create another bar group for this side, let me, let me change the column to, let's say, okay, let's change it to four. This is four bars in, in this side, okay? Uh, I want to create three bars on side, but if I create this, this, the last bar will be uh, overlapping, okay? Will be duplicated here. So, bar group, select the column, draw the shape. From here to here, okay? So, out, so I think it's... Okay. As you see, let me change the color. As you see, the the last bar of this of this bar group and the last bar of this bar group overlapping. So I I have to exclude either the far, either the, the the last bar of this group or this group. Okay. So this group exclude the last. So you see that this is only three bars and four bars in this side. Let me change it to two, I'm oh, sorry, to three. Okay, so if I want to create in in this phase, you can uh, just mirror, copy, mirror from here to here, and copy. So this time I should exclude both first and last, okay? So this is two bar and three bars in this side and the total of four bars in this side. And let me mirror from here to here, okay? So this is very useful, the exclude, the creation, excluding uh, a bar uh, in a bar group for creating a column and such uh, other structures, other structure types like column, okay? So let's get back to our single footing. Uh, this was a creation option. So, if you use the contextual tool toolbar, so this is a very this is a very fast for creating a starting start hook and end hook. Like, choose no hook for them, and you can create a hook from a contextual angle and radius and hook type. Let me ninety degree. You see that, and for the end, also let me. 100 this is very fast okay 
Another option here is uh, modify reinforcement shape. You can you can modify the shape of your, re your reinforcement, but you should turn on the direct modification. It's very important. If I do not turn on the direct modification, you cannot see the handles to change the, the shape. You see that? We cannot uh, you cannot see the handles and I, I cannot click on the handles to modify the shape. So it's very important to turn on that uh, direct modification. Okay, so you, you see that the handles here, you can easily drag this handle and move, move back and forth, okay? So you can move in the Z direction to lengthen these bars, just like this. You see that? You can easily change the, the shape of your rebar. Or I can, I can drag here, you see that? You can change it. If I click on that uh, small dots and move back and forth, you see that it will create, oh, sorry. You see, for that, it will create another two small dots. You see, you can change, you, so you have three handles here to change your reinforcement shape from here, from here, from here. You see that? Okay, so this is very useful for creating different, let's say for this side, for different, uh, for changing the, for changing the, the spacing. So you should create the two zones, here a zone, you see that, here a zone, if I want to change the zone in this, in this side, I have to create another dot here. So just pick it and move in, in, in back and forth, okay? You see that? Here I have here I have two zones, two zones with different spacings. Okay. Another option is uh, about move and delete reinforcement. So I can move a reinforcement or delete or add a new one okay so if I want to delete the reinforcement just click on that you see you see the my, my cursor changed to this crossing okay select the bar and right click delete okay you can delete a bar or if I click on the plus sign you can add a new bar here between these two bars okay just like this okay so if I want to move move bars so I want to move this bar a little bit uh, from this direction move linear uh, I want to move from here oh sorry from here to here okay move you see that um, the total bars are the whole bar are move okay so this was about uh, uh, moving and deleting or adding a reinforcement to a group Okay, one another option is very important while you are to uh, you want to create a splice here, splice. So this is uh, only available for bar groups and also bar group and single bar. Okay, so go to edit and split. You cannot split bars creating from uh, crossing or longitudinal or by face. Only you can split bars uh, created from uh, bar groups. Okay, so. Click on the bar group, go to edit, split, and select the reinforcement. I want to split from here all the way to here. Okay, you see that? It's split it. But uh, let me change to the no hook. And I will show you how to create a splice between these two uh, bar groups. Okay, so let me change this all. Fourteen all sides. Okay, so you see, and in the nice, you should it should be, and the start of this should be zero. Okay, if I have this bar like this, I should, if I want to create a supplies between do, these two bars. Okay, so go to rebar and go to edit bar and rebar splice okay you can join type you can change it here yeah? lap 
right and lap left or lap in both or coupler or welded joint. So let's say lap right here. Pick the first rebar and pick the second. There you go. You see that? This is a slide between these two bar groups. This is bar in uh, right in lap in both. It's the middle and the uh, lap length here can change it. Oh, sorry. Okay, you can change it to, to bar inlet. You see that? You can create easily the splice connection between. This is this dot. You can offset also. You can bar position on top or parallel to each other. This is on top each other. This is a parallel. This is parallel to each other. You see that? It is a parallel to each. So, I think it's uh, enough to to uh, say about the part group. Uh, this is all about the today's video. Hope you stay tuned for the next videos.